Well, have a look at this little beauty here. This is uh, my version of a Pelton wheel. I cast these all by hand. It wasn't difficult at all. In fact, uh, uh, the way I did it was I just carved uh, a little wooden form in the exact same shape as this. And uh, it had a flat bottom, which made casting really easy. Uh, there's a lot of those tutorials online, so I'm not even going to try to explain it. They've got people on there explaining things a whole lot better than I could. Um, as you can see, we just uh, we just put these screws, screwed it onto a center hub. This one's missing a screw. And uh, I don't know, perhaps somebody could figure out a better way to do that. This uh, is a mandrel for a grinder, like uh, like you find on eBay. In fact, uh, let's take a look at this thing. See, it's got those two little set screws. And I think the shaft is a 5 8 You can buy the bearing and this little collar on, a, I, I, I've ordered those catalogs, those surplus catalogs. Um, it's called Surplus Center, I think. And they have all this kind of stuff in there, um, real reasonably priced too. And same thing on this side, uh, stop collar, a uh, little greasable uh, pillar block bearing. Um, and here's the heart of this little thing right here. This is, uh, um, I made a little alternator, you know, by coiling wires and all that stuff. Um, just like you would on a wind generator. These are neodymiums. I think they're like N45s. They're nothing like really super strong. But, you know, they're pretty strong. And, uh, you know, you have, respectively, they should, there's tutorials on how to build these little um, axial alternators as well online. So there's no need for me to go into that as well. And I just cast these end plates out of aluminum. Um, one, I, I don't think anybody has to get this fancy with it, but, you know, basically I just took some plywood to begin with. I turned it down on my lathe, I believe, um, and then routed these out, you know, to give it some style and, um, you know, routed it out around this pillar block bearing. I just placed it in the middle there, drew it out and then just hit it with a router, cleaned it all up. And use that as a pattern um, and you'll know what I'm talking about if you just go online there's lots of little tutorials on how to cast aluminum it's really not difficult at all I put uh, my father's my father-in-law's name Frank Malay he actually cast that into the into the aluminum as well here's that 5 8 rod coming through um, and this was fairly simple you know I just drilled holes uh, and tapped them as you can see there and uh, then used the all thread to suspend the stator in between these two rotors you know if I had it all over to do again shoot you can buy these Pelton wheels for real cheap um, but you know what not everybody has access to that kind of stuff and that's why I sort of wanted to show this thing because these were not hard to make and anybody, like even in very primitive conditions, can can make one of these. You know, like in a in a very poor third world country, um, they can fashion these up with just very primitive tools. Uh, find old transmissions, old car parts, whatever, uh, to supply themselves with the aluminum um, to build these things. And um, you know, the the center hub here, I actually put on my. There's an inside shot of it. Um, my father-in-law actually bolted these Pelton wheels on there, I believe. Um, he was pretty, pretty handy. He's he's since passed now, and uh, kind of uh, feel like it's somewhat of a loss because just barely starting to get to know that fella after all those years. But uh, but yeah. So anyways, yeah, we bolted these on there. Um, this center hub was turned. We just stuck it on the drill press, or I did. And um, you know, I've got a better lathe now, but. You know, I mean, you could you could probably put this and chuck it up in a regular drill with them. And I used the mandrel. I just drilled a hole in there and I put this mandrel in there. Let me see, how did I do that? Uh, I forget. Anyways, I somehow managed to, to make an arbor for this, for the drill. 
um, for the drill press, and then I used a tool to to you know to um, to turn that with. But yeah, pretty simple. Uh, the alternator is three phase, um, as one would expect. We had this thing. I may have a video or a picture I'll put on um, as well to kind of. I know I took a video of this thing actually in action. And uh, you know, it, it was it ran the cabin for a couple of years, anyways. Um, you know, which uh, they had they had pretty much relied on generator power for for many many years. He also had made a generator years ago. They didn't quite have the technology um, down pat or even available for like the average person. YouTube didn't exist back in the day, and so you know, for Frank to. Kind of figure out all the electronics and stuff was pretty daunting for him but he made a, a giant pelton wheel uh alternator and he used a great big dc generator and the way he'd regulate it was you know it would just overspin and make a ton of juice well he'd turn on a whole bunch of lights in the house and he'd get until he got down to 110 and then if they decided to turn another appliance on they'd have to turn lights off to turn that on and and as you can imagine that wasn't very convenient so after several years, they abandoned the whole project, but the remnants of it was still down there. Maybe I'll put some pictures on here of that too as well. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, just wanted to share this with you guys. And, you know, uh, there's a lot more of this type of content I'll be putting on. And, um, you know, I've been pretty much obsessed with off-grid living and, and all of the, the things that go with it. Um, you know, with the wind generators, the solar power, the, the well drilling, you know, basically self-reliance in general. And I'll be sharing all that stuff with you. Uh, in the past, I've made some, i put some good content on what I feel like is good content, but with poor video quality. And, you know, I don't know. It's just because of my lack of tech savvy that that's happened. But I'm getting better cameras now. I'm making better, I'm making a better effort to, to put on higher quality videos with, uh, with better, um, with better video quality and better sound quality and everything else. And just the aspect ratio, like I have a, a, a video of drilling a well, um, you might want, you're going to have to check that out too. I've got like three or four videos of, of well drilling and more to come too. I'll, I'll get into some more detail on, on how I made some of these machines and stuff, but, uh, and how I operated them and whole a whole evolution of it if you're interested in that um, but uh, but yeah so uh, anyways yeah so so you're gonna want to subscribe um, if you're interested in this kind of content like I said my video quality is not the best I'm not a professional speaker so I stumble through some of this stuff and uh, but you know this is this is useful for people who are into it so anyways thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you on the next one.